We've already seen that panels work in a task orientated way, but we do have a panel called properties and it will respond with a relevant set of options depending on the content you've got active in your document. Notice here that our artwork is containing something called a layers panel. There is just one element in there, the original image. So the properties panel is showing me things such as what is the width and the height of this image? Do I wish to crop the image or trim the edges or rotate or alter the image size? Take a look. If I go to the file menu, choose open and head up to our main project folder and go into working. I'll open a file called nationalsurf.psd and this time the content in here and the layers panel is far more complex. We have multiple items of artwork stored in different levels. If I just extend the height of the properties panel, you'll now see that the item that I have highlighted in the layers panel is an imported piece of artwork from Adobe Illustrator. The properties panel now is giving me options to maybe edit that in Adobe Illustrator if I wish to. It also shows me the width and the height of that item on the canvas. If I click on a layer that is symbolized with a capital T for a text layer, now notice that it's showing me the font family, the style and the size and the color of the text. So because of the intuitive nature of the properties panel, you will probably find that you don't have the requirement to have quite so many panels on screen, keeping your workspace more clutter free and focusing more of the screen real estate on the thing that's most important, the actual artwork you're editing.